<laughs> if, I, if I put enough guilt, eventually. Do I owe you money or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I need to know about. Would CJ do something? <laughs> I'm not going to question why. I'm just going to accept it. Okay, so how's first two weeks? How are yeah. things feeling? Rocking. I know you're, you're nuts, so you're right and listening and everything. How's, how's everybody? Yeah, Patty? Solid? Melanie? You did what? Three last Just in a week. Wow. Incredible. That was like, that's good for me. <laughs> I, 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 would anybody say three is not good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're in three thoughts. Really I've been to two last week and I've already got two written this week that we're working on. Yep, yep. yep. Crazy, crazy, crazy. crazy. Melanie, you're not in your head. Oh yeah, I'm just getting back from my routine. I kind of felt like feels December. good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When your kids are off, that's why. Well, and the yeah. truth is, is that I, even if you don't have kids, that that day and a half off for two weeks, it grows you for sure. I mean, there's no, there's hi Beth. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't sneak in. We don't let any sneaking. No sneaking at all. <laughs> So here's a question. How many of you, let's see, who all in here is going to family reunion? Yay. Yay. Jen stuck up. Sorry, hand. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, so last night we closed out at 9 p.m. I, I don't know the answer. Just give me a second. Um, That's awesome. We did. We just shut it down less than less than 12, well, just 12 hours ago. Um, so here's where they are. They're hand counting all of it because, you know, they don't want to make any mistakes. Um, so they are hand counting the top three, both in Texas and then out of Texas. Um, so we are in competition with Edmond, Oklahoma, which is Mo Anderson's market center. And we are in competition with, right behind it, Baltimore, Maryland. Really? Really? Wow. Wow. Behind Tav? Tav? They're not in the top three. Tav, yes. Tav has a new team leader in Asheville. So they're, you know, just, they need, they said, give us a year. We'll be back in full, in full speed. So, Hold on. So if we lock this one in, that will be three, right? Three in a row. It will be three in a row. I think we should petition to Mo that that basically locks us in for at least like the next honorary. 10 years. Like honorary. <laughs> like, a, like a honorary doctorate. Honorary VIP. Yeah. I, I, I think there's, a, there's we'll an argument to We'll commit to at least that. 85 people every single time. Going forward. So we were on text I'll get last on that night. All of our, all of our uh, leadership team, as I was like checking the reports, literally minute by minute, refresh, refresh, refresh. Um, we do have 89 um, Keller Williams agents going, which is incredible it's more than we've ever taken um, <coughs> super super excited we have um, Dave Davis is going with us as well oh, he doesn't count awesome. in the thing in the race which he was really ticked off about <laughs> he seriously he was like that's not that's not even fair I should count because I'm going <laughs> Christina's husband is going he doesn't count unfortunately um, I think it's going to be cool to have Dave there. Malin is going with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she doesn't count. Does it count? Because lots of people can cheat. We had to buy the ticket. And buy, you can walk across to KFC and put some names on the registration. So, um, so it, it actually is super exciting. We have um, 11 guests that are coming with us from other companies as well, which I'm very excited about. Great opportunity for them. Do they to get to count since they have a license? No. Well, no. that's things. No. <laughs> um, it, it, it truly, they want it. I mean, that's the way to make it fair. They want KW. KW people. Oh. Yep. Otherwise, I could go, honestly, <laughs> and sadly, it could happen. Mm -hmm. I could go buy 100 registrations. It's a lot of money I'd have to spend, but I could do <laughs> it. I think the people that have been there for VIP would all contribute. They probably would. <laughs> yeah. there, there were times where we were like, is there anything else we can do? Um, so, as soon as we you, exactly. Well, one of them, um, two of them did before we went, and so Carrie and Annalise, um, so they are, we were able to put that count them as KW people. So, um, it, it actually does work that way sometimes, which is really exciting. Uh, just for information, how big are the other two markets that are competing against? Are they bigger than us? Or? Uh, Ed, I don't know. Edmund, I want to say, is, is maybe two to, 250 to 300. 
and Baltimore is probably 225 to 250, real similar size. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it by percentages or is it by No, numbers? it's by number. There is a percentage category as well. Oh. We don't even come close yeah. in that one. Because you have some really, uh, the, I think the story told me today, the two that are competing, one has six people going and one has, I think, 15. So if you've got a market center of 20 people, it's really easy to get 75%. Oh. That, and that's their way of making it fair. Mm -hmm. Because obviously, if you have 20 people, you can't compete against you know, anybody that has more than 100 that takes 15. So that evens it out and gives everybody a fair share. Remember the first year who was, or the one that was from Vegas? Are you really here right now? I'm sorry, <laughs> I keep looking at them like I know. Is this, is this one really? It's a dream. Is that Obi Wan? Oh my God. In the just channeling. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> channeling. <laughs> um, so we, as soon as we know they are hand counting now, um, we are in close, close communication. As soon as we know, we'll let you guys know. Um, and trust me, we're all in pins and needles as well because, like I said, this this helps us a lot. This is like Has anyone at, else at least ten hours years? of extra sleep. <laughs> no, That's what this means oh, for totally. a five day trip. Oh, totally. <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. Asheville. Uh, went back to back and then we beat them on their third year. So I don't know of anybody, but that doesn't mean it hasn't happened. See, another reason to petition. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you, you get that together. <laughs> so I think we've got some paychecks, right? right? On it. What do we got? Yes. Charlie Bag, Les Bailey, Robert Bassett, Jared, Marcy Bouchard, Dave Bowman, Wendy Bringhurst, very cool. Dave Brown, Deb Casello, Kristen Cole, Brenda Wan, Matt Dammit, Kira Dreher, Ed Erickson, Christina Gomez. Oh, I can't, I can't even, there's no, I've got no way to do it. Boy King, Vicki Hudson, Tim <laughs> Kelly, Kim Petrowski, Petrowski, <laughs> Paul Leishman, hey, Belisa in the mix. Hey, Belisa. Joe Lowndes, Kai Lucas, Amy, Chris, Christy Mock, Reed Moore, Holly Meyer, Clinton Peterson, Janelle Roberts, Stuart Smith, Jennifer Stalka. Derek Suter, Ryan Thompson, uh, Jason Trout, Kristen Van Lee, Dar Walden, Dan Wolf, and Miss Kylie Wise. You know, if you could come, could you at least come on a week that I'm throwing something at you? <laughs> Make this a win win. <laughs> it's one of our principles. Um, okay, so a couple things we need to talk about before we dive into content. We have a gala coming up on January 25th. Is everybody aware that our annual awards gala is January 25th? Yes. It's been on your email. We are now. It's been everywhere. You should be getting calls. We have a head count. We have to give shares, and otherwise you don't get to eat. So <laughs> we need you to confirm with the front desk your reservation on the Eventbrite link. If you can't find it, email me. I'll forward you the link. Um, but you've got to register today. We need it today because we've got to call in with some final numbers, and we just don't want people not getting food. It is a plated dinner. It's not a buffet. So don't think that you can go scavenge extra. You're either going to have a plate or you're not. <laughs> yes, Melin. Whether I sponsor or not, I'm going to be there. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm waiting on the response. One way or the other. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Absolutely. Allison, what am I forgetting about this? That, that is the big issue, um, is having enough seats and enough food. We got lots of feedback saying that we want to change the format, so we've changed it up a little bit, you know, um, so that it's, it's what you guys want it to be. But yeah, it's imperative that we get that number. So going on to that Eventbrite link and getting, um, getting registered, um, that is, getting registered is your ticket. That's the only way you're going to get on the roster, and we need you to do that today. Yeah, and you know, seriously, when you go back to your office, I realize this is like 1% of our market center. Um, please tell anybody you see, just be like, you know, word on the street for me. Did you register? Did you register? Are you going? If you're going, register, because we're going to be calling, but I need your help to get that out there, um, for sure. Yes. Um, what else do we have going on? Tomorrow? <laughs> What's going on tomorrow? 411. I'm management with 411. Uh, 12 to 4 here in the training room. What else do we need to know about that one? 10 bucks? Um, be here. We're not charging 10 in town because we didn't want to do the facility, but be here. And um, it's going to be, if, if everybody, <coughs> you know, if everybody shows that's coming, be here on time because it's going to be a packed room mm -hmm. and you're going to want to get a seat. We've got a ton of confirmed. Um, non Keller Williams agents and so it's always great when people from our uh, from outside the company come and they realize that we actually take advantage of the education ourselves as well 
Um, when we did this in Eagle River last week, we had a full house of Eagle River. Uh, Joe was there, Allison's there, I was there. We had a full house. I, what, what did you think, Jen? You were in there. What, how did you think it was? It was really good. Um, it's uh, it's always a different crowd, I, and I love it. I like the difference between the two because um, you know Valley Real Estate. It's it's just a different crowd, and, but they were so energized about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, because yeah, that's crazy. Energy well, they the really room. like. They don't like the numbers. They don't. I mean, I'm not, and I'm not saying anything. You know, I'm from the Valley, Banjo Land. They don't <laughs> like the numbers. It's all it's all belly to belly. It's all networking. It's all you know. It's it's relationships. It's all of that. And so it was really great to see them being really energized and seeing that 411 was about that and that it could benefit the personal lives, it could benefit the networking, and it wasn't just this sheet that they had to fill out once a week. Right, it wasn't you know? Yeah, so I mean, I thought it was great. I thought there was a lot of really good input, and I mean, the feedback from the other agents was like crazy, and now they're all excited about E2P and all these other oh, things, yeah. which is just really funny to hear like some of these agents that are non Keller Williams being like, when is she teaching E to P? You know, and you're like, wow, okay. <laughs> you know? yeah. So, I mean, so it was really good. And I like the neutral territory too. That was a huge feedback. Yeah, there's a great really like facility that. out there yeah. that Les Bailey's yeah. um, crew. My point is this, guys, if you take in it, it doesn't matter. This is one of those key pieces you keep taking it over and over because remember, you've moved. Right? You're in a different place than when you heard it last time. And so something that never connected with you at any point in time may hit you square between the, the eyeballs. You go, oh my gosh, how many times have I taken this and I haven't gotten it? So. Well, it's the same reason you keep going back to family reunion and make a camp. Yes, you're getting a lot of the amble. Yes, thank you. Uh, you're getting a lot of brand new information and cutting edge you know, um, type activities. Yet at the same time, you're hearing stuff that has been said before because again, there's been people that have lived before us, and you know we're not reinventing the wheel. You know, it's just a matter of diving into your business and using what applies to your business right now. Yeah. Um, another thing to put on your calendar is if you should have gotten the email if you're registered for family reunion, February fifth. Is it right? Can I do the right date? Let me look at my calendar. February 5th is our pre-family reunion meeting, and that is when we will, yes, we do it right after the team meeting on February 5th. So be here at 11 for the team meeting, and if you're going to family reunion, just stay. Um, if, you ha if you've been, if you haven't been, doesn't matter. It is, in it is really important to be here, because I, um, well, let me just be really honest. <laughs> All the questions that 90 of you will ask me, Allison, and Joe, singly, individually, as soon as we land in Dallas, will be answered in a large group session before we ever leave. <laughs> so you're going to have tons of questions. How do I get from here to there? How is this happening? When? What? What do I wear? How close is it going to be? You have a million questions, even for those of you that have been, because it's a new location, and they have changed the schedule and the agenda. It is a little different. Please be here. It will make all of us have a better time. Plus, it's just fun. We have a good time. And um, I've got the packet almost all done, so I'm, I'm super excited about that. I have invited our guests that are going with us to come to our team meeting at 11, so they get an idea of what this is like, you know, locally, and then to stay for the meeting so that they get a taste of all of it. Um, so February 5th, be there. Who has purchased The Power of One by Gary Keller? Has anybody started reading it yet? Huh? I know there's a problem with the download link. I've heard that before. A lot of people are having. Just make sure you have iBooks. And if you don't, I have my iBooks. Okay. Some people aren't though. They're having some problems. So just if you have a challenge, there's a link. There's an email address to request help. I know Jeff Davis has got stuck as well, and they were able to help him through it. That is, I don't know why that's going on, but it is happening. So, what, any thoughts or ahas from it? Are you trying to get it read before family reunion, before Gary's special session? It's a phenomenal book. Yeah. I finished it, and it's like seriously. Such a well, it was. No, I'm serious. I, <laughs> once you once you start diving into it, a lot of it. If you've gone to Mega Camp Family Reunion, you'll hear what Gary preaches. You know, come out, and it's just awesome information. 
for hearing it again and again and again. And it will be probably one of the you know top three books that I go back and read over and over and over because it makes you just dial in, you know, to what is your one thing, and that's and that's all you need is what is your one thing. I was talking with Debbie Zoyce yesterday morning, who runs the uh, Nevada, the Las Vegas, um, several of the market centers there, and she was telling me when she read it, she literally could hear Gary saying it, because it is a compilation of a lot of things that you've heard from Quantum Leap, from Magic Camp, from Mastermind Sessions. You know, you've heard it, and now they filtered it all together in a logical fashion. So she said she literally could like see his body language. If you ever read something, you can just hear the person saying it, you know, or so if you haven't gotten it, I would really recommend getting it before we get down there so you've read it because that is going to be the focus of the special session on Saturday is um, the power of one. I think it'll just maximize that learning opportunity for you. How else can I forget it? for their shirts on the Daily Digest, so you can see the different styles that are available. So go ahead and log on oh, to the Digest. Oh, I believe there actually is. <laughs> I knew you'd be. I knew you'd be. Uh, on Thursday, we're going over. Yeah, and we're going to have some of the Right out of the gate, I screwed up. now and anybody that's new or from a, another agency that's new invite them over like seriously invite them over because this is really great stuff and it's an opportunity for myself and some of the other instructors to be able to dive in with them specifically uh, you know through these classes so it's just a really good opportunity if you have somebody you've been speaking with okay great opportunity yeah. awesome Okay, did I get it all? I think so. Yes. Oh, and um, I knew I didn't. <laughs> if anybody wants me to talk to anybody on the peninsula Thursday, I will be down there. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And he's doing that. <laughs> Vanessa usually will know when he's going down there. He's he's doing that consistently. So make sure you get a hold of him. Mm -hmm. We have the potential of two new KW agents that I'm going to be meeting with on Thursday, when which is pretty the, cool. The Oh, next Monday. Thank you very much. Oh, I'll see. You're good. Yes. So, uh, February 6th, I think it is? Fourth. Fourth? February 4th? Monday. It's Monday. They're, they're releasing the new purchase and sell agreement with some new additions. And um, By the way, Danny has something been, to say about it. I have been contracted to teach the class of that. So, I'm going to be putting the class together on the new form. And I'll be teaching it here, so you guys won't have to go to the MLS one. Is okay. Gonna and, and, and Butch is going to be going over one. one. Yeah. Um, are going to be going over it next week and the following week at one o'clock here in the training room. Okay, Did you so guys hear that next week, no. week. Monday. Next Monday next and the following Monday. Next Monday and the following Monday at Get a one heads up on it. And by the way, I'm writing the class as a two-hour DCE class. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So, be yeah. <laughs> okay, so here, here's the deal: we've got DCE hours coming. Trust me, you're going to want to take a contract class more than once on a new purchase and sale agreement. 
get an overview ASAP so you're ahead of the curve. Because the last thing you want to do is be flying in here at 9 o'clock on a Saturday night to write an offer, <laughs> running upstairs, pulling it up, and it's new, and you're going, holy crap, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, Who do I call? Ain't yeah. nobody answering. So <laughs> you need to take the overview, and then yeah. let's get into the, the in-depth yeah. one. I, what I'm, what I'm, I'm writing the class, and I, of course it's going to take a little bit of time to get it approved for DCE, right. but I will teach it without DCE, you know, like on the fourth, fifth or sixth, fourth or fifth, whatever, once it gets available. Okay. Um, going over that uh, purchase and sell agreement this Thursday uh, during their team meeting out in the valley. Is anybody What's that? Mm -hmm. I, actually, yeah. I think the brokers. I, I, I think the I think the brokers. I think the brokers. I think the I think the brokers. I think the brokers. I think the brokers. Is it, is it on flex? They're, 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 they're just officially yeah. the review version. version. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Just yeah, yeah, I know brokers. Okay. okay. <laughs> Time out. It's the review. <laughs> one, one person speaking. It's the review version only. So it'll show you where the changes are highlighted in red. Can't use it, can't access it. Working document, but you can see the changes. Yes. Copy, I have it. Okay. out there and it's just frustrating so so we've gone many steps backwards in the process of considering Keller Williams because of that and so I want to remind you that number one you <coughs> represent your sellers right you want your property sold they've hired you they're paying you a good amount of money and number two you represent your company which means you're representing me honestly I mean I'm the face that they the name that they talk to so let's just remember Let's not lose sight of our customer service skills. Um, personal family time and off time and weekend time, I'm, trust me, I am all for that. But you gotta make sure you've got a system in place to take care of your client. If it's a tech system, I don't know what it is, just have a system, there's a way to do it. Um, so that's my constructive criticism <laughs> for the day. That was your velvet glove of a slap. Do your job. <laughs> do your job. Yes, exactly. So, um, had a really great dialogue, and the woman was wonderful. She was so sweet about it. So, so let's get into ice man. I know. Let's get into this. So, you guys remember last year when we went over the 2011 um, NAR homebuyers, sellers, homebuyers and sellers survey? There's tons of really great data, 
This is kind of similar, but this is based on 2012. Um, I want to talk to you in a, in a large sense because we're leading up to family reunion. How many of you guys have pulled up the breakout sessions and taken a peek at, have you, has anybody had time yet? I know we're still a good ways away. To kind of see what's out there? You did that the night before. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't don't tell me. Me. <laughs> so there's a ton of stuff on E-Edge and technology and internet lead generation and all that stuff. So I kind of want to stop for a minute today and talk about it. Um, guys, I, I don't want to pick on anybody in here, so I'm not going to. When I ran my business, it was, it was all database, all relational, all referral. In terms of, the, it was sphere driven. There was no internet presence. There was no, and, and if I were still selling today, um, it, would, it would be driven by my database and my relationships. The beauty of real estate is everybody gets to choose where their business comes from, right? I look at David Armstrong. Tr double and a half, you, how much did you, three million you increased this year? I mean, you basically doubled. I tripled last year. Tripled, okay. 90% of it is strangers, not database. It's expired, right? Right. So that's been what you've chosen to just, your one thing, right? right. You're focused on expired. Um, there, you know, you look at, at a Reed or a Ryan, heavy, heavy internet base. You look at a Dan Wolf, all database, cranks out his newsletter <laughs> once a month. It's fear. So everybody's different, so there's no right or wrong at all. Here's what I want you to realize. No matter what your business model is, you have to think about the internet as a piece of it. Like you don't have a choice anymore. It doesn't have to be the focus. It doesn't mean I want you all going to Craigslist leads driving and, and just becoming all internet based. But I want you to see these numbers again and understand why it is worth your time when we're down there to learn a little bit, don't be afraid, learn a little bit about how to better work the tech side of things, the internet marketing exposure, because you're going to miss a lot of your buyers. And here's what's going to happen. This is what concerns me. This is why I want people to know about it. That buyer that I may have sold five houses to, based on the numbers, and we're going to talk about this in a minute, is going to go to the internet before they call you. Done. It's guaranteed. When they're going to go to the internet, guess what they're going to find out there? Agents that are, that are having lead capture systems. They could very easily, very easily, <coughs> study and by the way we'll be getting the, the new one when it comes out and, and getting a hold of that for you and we'll do a team meeting because I know everybody we love that one that's there's great data great statistics um, NAR and Google came together to talk about how prospective home buyers search online and use digital mediums to, to before purchasing a home so here's this is fascinating the study the digital house hunt consumer and market trends in real estate revealed that online property searches increased by more than 250% over the past four years, with over 90% of the buyers primarily using the internet to research their home purchase options. Do you think you need to have some sort of internet presence? Just, if we stopped right here, if I shut it down, does that, do those numbers not? It used to be, Marcy, when your clients would look to buy a house 10, 11 years ago, they would call you for the list of houses, right? Right. They call you and say, hey, Marcy, I want to buy a house. I, I'm thinking four bedrooms, three baths, you know, blah, blah, blah. They give you a check. Can you start sending me listings? Yeah. Right? Sure, no problem. We'd fax them over. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if we were really good, we'd print them and then scan them. <laughs> that was high tech. But they came to us for the product. You guys understand, they're not coming to us for the product until they're ready to make a decision anymore. 
So how do you make sure you're out there before somebody else is? More importantly, the study shows that